Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play... Battlefleet Battle Gothic, Gothic Armada, Armada 2. 2. Endless, Endless Swarm. With me, the Imnox. Double check now to make sure this thing's actually recording. Because I did it once and I did not. Hooray. Like good. Yeah, I did that once and it didn't record. But, yes, we're here. We're back in the Chaos Sector. And we've got fights. Two of them, to be exact. So let's start with you. Let's see, uh Ooh. That could be handy. Board the ships and leave dead wreckage behind you. Yes, we outnumber them. Not by too much, so we should get a decent <coughs> little um score for this. Yeah, your renown is a bit weird in this game. You actually get more renown for fighting with less ships than the other guy. And you get dramatically more renown if you run away. Yeah, I don't mind letting them try to run away after I hit with a load of body actions. Force them to flee. While, um, carrying a load of Tyranid on board. We're in the Eye of Terror. Not close enough, anyway. We have boarding actions. Plenty of. We know you're coming here. We are also free carrier ships. Well, only two of them can come anywhere near to meet matching him for power. But yeah, they've they've got there'll be other ships here. It won't just be free ships, they'll have escort ships. But they'll be stealthed. Oh, they're in the stealth field. Which means that guy's gonna turn around and come home. One, two, and... Three? Yep, there he goes. They're invisible right now. They can't be seen. Yeah, they only just smile off the park while the other guy gets come through. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Uh, if they won't go anywhere, they'll have to come out of that cloud. Yep, here they come. Two of these ships, they should have two ships here, which can be. to get the call to arms on. You know what? I really want these guys turned into you have husks. That's why I'm targeting him. Him. Yeah, that was a bit annoying, he's now 
cyborg me, but mutinies on board. Ah, their own fire squad is intercepting them. That's why. One ship. Ah, ah. Counts, he was already turned into a Hulk, drifting Hulk, so. Right, I need to throw. Let's see, how many doing for troops? I already stuck our troops. Assault range. He is primary target, and he is well and truly out of people. Um, could still get them. Objective complete. They lose their points. Excellent. Focus on this guy now. No, race for impact. He really wants to jump on him. <laughs> wow, there's even mutiny in that. That's a mutiny. The mutiny didn't even manage to take effect for the victory. We attacked so many times, so quickly, that they just did not have time to actually count, get a mutiny to go off. It's like, oh, mutiny, go, go away and survive! No, you're not. Because we're here, and we captured you. You was going nowhere. Again, Tau campaign. Aldari campaign. I know there's at least three factions, two other factions in this game. You know, why I know there's three other factions. You got Orcs, Aldari, Tau. So why is only Chaos, Imperial, Tyranid, and Necron getting to have shine and be in the spotlight on this one? Yeah. We need two men. I'll take this one. And we have more than enough money to pay for repairs. Soriatus is one of our sectors we got to capture. We've got an invasion on every single planet. We will capture every planet. But for now, we have the thing of they. Ooh, and we get a bonus action? Oh, I like this. The Thousand Suns. Yeah, they're just literally throwing everything they have in the kitchen sink at us. It's the only way chance they've got of survival. And even then, I don't think it's actually going to work. But, uh, you know. We specialize in assault actions. Now they've got one all the way at the back. We should be capturing it. Whether we care to or not is the one here or there. They have yeah, these things. We 
We will capture this quickly we are flying through a big ship. Small fields. You have Go. seized a strategic Pick area. Pick up more. Go! We definitely want to go here. Now we're getting two very shortly. The enemy has seized a strategic area. And a second one. That's pro and the sport field are heading straight for them. Now I don't have any small ships to send off to the side. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Fire torpedoes. Little ship, meme ship, meme, bigger ship. That was a long time one, but that was fine for me. I just pulled them straight into straight into us. They can't escape. You have seized a strategic area. I don't know why I'm firing over there, to be honest. Uh, nope, everyone is actually at full health. Call to arms won't only really work for so long. They're firing long range, but it's in these rocks. So half the shots are actually missing. He's mutinied, so he's now just in a death spiral. You have that, and you have that. That mutiny is not going to help them out at all. They're, um... Steadily losing... People. Critical assault actions. Drifting Hulk and return to normal status. The thing is, they can't do that trick indefinitely. Gain stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll put this on over here on you. Oh, I got quick action and it just it halted again. Generator's damaged. Is down, mutinied. He ends up with someone here helping him out. Catch them with multiple salt actions. They're mutinied, so they're not helping, and the guy just exploded. So, technically speaking, we have the time to actually go and catch the uh, thing because it's just that guy, and he's about to go drifting Hulk. We 
which comes with a dead ship. They don't regenerate the people. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. Even for stealth, if we get within certain range, you can't avoid it. Avoid us. Fields online. Doesn't hurt our ships, so it's their ships, though. We can fly for a spore field. The call to arms is great and all, but it's a moot effort, and now the you need. Mutiny! Oh no, we're gonna lose the we're gonna lose the zone. Oh, never mind, drifting hulk. Flip. what I call the oh god we're going in trouble ships. These are the uh just got these guys left. Huh. Dudes. Yeah I'm just exploded. Hmm. So they attack the torpedoes. They're on gun turrets. I know, Swarf Field even hurts these things. Yeah, we're no defensive turrets, they can't stop. I see, so you launch these things to make sure they have no turrets. And then you hit them with these, and they can't stop it. Never actually taken point of victory on this thing because points. we tend to kill everybody before that actually happens. That's generally what happens. We generally tend to kill everything. See, our gun turrets are regenerating. You have seized a strategic area. The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. Yum. Yum. Complete with time. We don't care. Because there's only these two left. And they're not exactly dangerous. So it lost. You are close to victory by strategic points. Yeah, so by strapping the turrets, strapping the turrets out of them, they don't they can't hold themselves together. Hmm. And with no gun to us, they can't stop any assaults. Okay, now I understand a bit more what to do with those Harpy Swarm thingies. You throw them at the ship first, at the ships first to shred the turrets. So 
especially when going for big targets with lots of turrets. Then, with no, with no turrets left, you send the one with the most assault boats, use the guy and the big guys with the highest number of assault boats to send them in, and without any gun turrets to protect them, the chances are they're going to get the full assault action on them. Which is a lot, considering how many people, how many points they have, how many he launches each time. That's two down, one to go, one to go, one to go. That's two down, one to go. And we're just getting stuff. Oh good, because we've got them, um, uh, we can't be consumed, can't consume this planet. That's not a problem. So we got biomass world here. You know what, we're going to hatch world because I don't need to worry about money. I have money. I have a lot of money. And I'm fairly confident that we're actually heading towards endgame. Because, um... Oh, god, this is now down to two? By the time I go back to take that place, this place has captured them all. It won't be a fight, it's just captured. Right, we got seven battle plans. We'll knock that down to zero. We'll end turn because there's a fight coming. That's why I wasn't really too bothered about it, but I just wanted to see if I got the extra points. I mean, there's some systems where I actually have people attack me. They're sporadic and far between, but they're here. Occasionally, some people attack, someone attacks. He's going to punch the Eldar. He's an idiot. He's going to punch me. <laughs> He's an even bigger idiot. Lost and... Ninth Lost and something. What the yes? Ah, oh, I can't read the full name. His name's too long. My plan in the end is to go, is to pull in the, pull in, get the deal, final deal, the only DLC I know about for this one, which is the Chaos Campaign. function of the... why are you always damaged? I'm sure I heal you up, so why are you always damaged? Kill everybody. Not really an issue. Everybody doesn't have a chance. I got two of these, so let's... Okay. Use you. Happy Swarm. On him first. Let you get a head start. Then even that. I don't know why he's all on his Todd. Might be a big one. The Harpy Swarm should get in there and de stop the defense turrets. And then hit the in comes the uh, evilness of the of the squad. Wow! And the critical chance by fifty percent. Okay, that's nasty. That's nasty, especially if you've got the thing that me when they do crit damage, they they kill troops. Only the biter any. You are a biter, yes? Battle cruiser, bio tentacle devourer. No, no, no. They're not a biter. Who's biter? No, 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 no. Giant asteroids incoming. Oh, lovely. Oh, I wasn't on his own. There's a sub. 
Got to sell the squads with him. They're chasing after them, but not helping. Oh, he still got hit with 17 because he didn't have enough troops to actually stop that. Yeah, you can call to arms, mate, but you. Yeah. I'm just giving an eyeball out here for giant asteroids in my location. I don't care what's going on over there, I will make certain these asteroids do not thump my ships. This one is in a bad day. I can't fire that, I'll hit my own people. Wow, I'm still in range. Now he's really in range. I told you, they don't tend to have little ships on their own, they tend to be packed to them. Yeah, I need to move. I am risking way too much for staying still. Yeah, these are, little, these are just little ships. These are little guys. They are not a threat. Threatening one of these guys. And he's hung up now because he's caught too close to him. <laughs> nice, so I think the meteorite storm's over. Let the harpies do their job. Mutinied. Really? Why didn't you have a score of on you? And we can base for impact. Now, and he has no oh, shield that's a lot. But the harpies are doing their job with no gun to keep them from just diving in. Yeah, so still this little one over here fighting in the background, like, I'm gonna help him out. I just, I can save you. I can save you, there's no way the cares going to find me. Well, that asteroid storm wasn't that bad. We didn't lose a single thing. And he's dead. And we got the, f we got the, the battle plans, so we're happy. Payday! No, you. I wanted the other guy. I wanted the other one to charge forward and do the drool cannon on him, so I could spray him with goop. Bleh. No, this was not what... Oh well. I shall accept the fact that I've won. Graciously. And not just because I had no choice. Oh, that attack's force was squashed. We've sort of hit it's only the really, it's only really the, the um, uh, special missions of where we take all the damage. And I'm just going to recover anyway, because, great, and we got a level up. He gave us just enough points for a level up. Yeah, it'll take a while to load, because go give it to the Renown. 
don't think. And Chaos will still got to finish doing all their, their movement their movement points. It doesn't really matter because they create fleets because um my own fleets will be jump uh, I'm gonna have to now take that do another invasion of that planet. That's unfortunate. Granted, a lot of the planets will be simply now taken anyway. Level 11. Plus 1 fleet command capacity. Plus 50 capacity. Leadership, 350. 1350. One upgrade point. We have got more upgrade point, points with a Tyranid than I have at any other unit. I need... I don't... Hmm, I don't have access to the upgrade, do I? No. No, I need the unique bio... F living acid... Bioform materials to get this one unlocked. No. That's a good upgrade. Uh, go, 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 go. High bio... Bioplasma weapons. Yeah, okay. Must admit that high, he has got high bioplasma. Is one of his, on the big guy. So that one, I think, I think that's his big cannon. Bioplasma weapons. I'd have to actually have a look at that before I buy the one. I can do this when I'm fancy, so. So blood, also fun. Death increases ship shield value by 25%. Hmm. I want to have a quick peek at the bio. I think he's one of the ones with the bio cannons. The cannons. We can also afford another ship. So this is a bioplasma discharge artillery gun and the pyro acid artillery. So that's a short range weapon. I love how you can see a little cone, cone effect coming out of him. Doesn't really work because it's still pointing that way. So that's going to go a range of 4,000, that one's got a range of 13,000, but if you get the Bioplasma upgrade, this one will go to 9,000. So it will hit at quite some distance. And he doesn't get close to him anyway, because he's got the um, uh, long range cannon on him. Plague has just got Two turns for that, two turns for that, and then I capture it. That's roughly how this works. Two turns, two turns, capture. I might take Anaphrax, because he'd attack me first. This world has 26... has 26 points on it. I believe in one of the campaigns I saw them like, start going swirly 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 with demon points. None of these planets so far have had these uh, nesting locations. Biomass. It's actually it's the end of the thing, but I want to a quick peek at all these. No. Planetoid nest. You know what? That, I think we can go to Meningrad. Guard there, so I can steal that one. No. 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 None of these planets have the bio thing, have the um, bio living acid perk on them. Nope. 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 Uh, gastric pouch. Oh, that's handy, but it's completely useless at this point. They have none whatsoever. Also, thank God. In two turns, I'll be able to run back into here anyway, regardless of where I am. I could technically launch an invasion of multiple fleets from multiple locations just to take this world in one shot, this place in one shot. Oh well, well, let's get our high density bioplasma. I haven't found the living acid. I've conquered so many worlds, but I haven't found living acid. Oh well. You got the other one for that one, so... I'm 
improved, 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 improved. This is just what we're going to get our hands on next. Unless there's a perk I need to actually get my hands on. Oh. Ah well. S E H and Nope. Nope. Yeah, there's no way to actually scroll across Gideon. So when we come back folks, uh more the destruction of chaos. It is literally the destruction of chaos. It's not really a fight, it's a very, very, very one sided event. Hell, I think with the Eternities, we've actually got here faster than most of my other saves. Most of my other games. What was the high... Hive, 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 Necron. Necron has 69 episodes. Has 69 on their saves. At turn... And they won around turn 108. Was when they finally got the final win thing going off. I'm at 59. Oh, 20, 29 episodes in. I have killed three factions. I have taken out the Eldar. I have taken out Ka I have taken out the Orcs. I'm close to taking out Chaos. And the Necrons aren't far behind. There are three factions left in the game. Not including myself. That's for next time. So until then, until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya!